QuickBooks Desktop versus QuickBooks Online. We will go through the major differences between the two. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks. Once you decide to use QuickBooks as your accounting software, you will then need to decide which QuickBooks you want to be using. The first decision you would want to make is breaking it out into two categories, that being do you want to have some format of desktop version or some format of online version. Once you make that decision, you may need to break out further down to that to decide what your needs are, but that's one of the first kind of breakouts that you want to be considering. The desktop version is going to mean that the software is actually downloaded to your machine. It's on your computer. The online version means it's going to be housed on Intuit, the owner of QuickBooks server, and you'll be using it online. There's pros and cons to these two items, to these two methods, and we'll go over some of them now. Note as we do so that the desktop version is the older version. The online version is the newer version. So note that you might be saying, hey, is Intuit going to be taking us away from the desktop version and trying to move everybody online? For some time, it kind of looked like that's what Intuit, the owner of QuickBooks, was trying to do. And I think the, one of the big things they really like about the online is that the fact that they want to have this subscription model. So it looks like now, however, uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. They're updating the, the QuickBooks desktop, and in 2021, they made some major changes to it, especially within the bank feed. So it does look like uh, there are they, they're significant advantages to having the desktop versions in some way. So it looks like now they're... they're uh, going to be updating the desktop version, but it looks like they're trying to push more to a subscription model. So it does look like the desktop version is going to be around. So if you're if you're saying, hey, do I need to just jump to the online version because that's the new thing and that's where the future is? Maybe, but I don't I don't think they're doing away with the desktop anytime soon. And there's definitely advantages uh, to to the desktop, and they're certainly improving it. They made substantial changes uh, to it, and and a lot of traditional bookkeepers. Uh, like, you know, the desktop version. So let's go through some of the factors here. So one, the desktop version is going to be a one-time purchase, whereas the online version uh, is going to be a subscription type of model. You pay monthly or you pay yearly. Now note, as we go through this, remember that both of these typically will have a free downloadable test kind of version. So oftentimes the, the desktop may be a little bit more difficult to do that, but they still try to provide Oftentimes, Intuit will provide a 30-day free trial, which we will use in this in this course uh, in order to work through the practice problem. So if you want to practice with the software, get a feel for it, you could have that 30-day trial here as well as in the online versions. And once you look for the 30-day free trials, though, just make sure that you're, you're picking up the correct software, whether you want to look at the free trial for the desktop or the online version. Once you purchase the software, then the desktop version traditionally is a one-time purchase subscription model for the online purchase you pay monthly. Now, that means that the desktop was, was difficult to purchase at first because you have to put the lump sum purchase up up front, which is kind of painful. But once you had it on the computer, then you can have it for basically multiple years. QuickBooks will update the software each year, but it's quite possible, depending on your needs, to use the same software for multiple years without uh, the upgrade. Whereas, of course, if you're on the online version, you might be paying monthly or you could pay one you know, yearly sum, but you've got to renew it uh, each year. So whether or not the updates are relevant to you, you need to up renew it each year. On the desktop version, if you have it on your desktop, you don't need to update it each year if the updates to Intuit software are not things that are relevant to you and uh, and you don't need some of the, the services that they would basically do each year. Now, 2021, they have a big update on the bank feeds. So if you use the bank feeds, it may be well worth your while to, to update the desktop version. Now, note that the uh, Intuit, it looks like they really like the subscription model. That's one of the things they really like, and that's why they've been pushing, in my opinion, the online version a lot and the desktop version having that fact that they get that they don't have the subscription model uh, was something that looks like they wanted to move toward so it looks like they're trying to move the desktop version now to basically pick up that subscription model and that's going to be with like the desktop pro plus which means that you basically have a subscription you'll, you'll pay for it uh, you know they'll update it automatically you'll pay for the update and whatnot more of a subscription basis rather than just buying the package and saying this is this is the 2021 for example version and then you had to buy a, a whole new version for the following year so it looks like that's the way they're going into the future they're, it looks like they're going to have the same desktop still be on your computer have the advantages of the desktop version uh, if you like those and um, 
but they're going to be moving towards the online and that might be a it might be a good time right now if you want to just have the software to practice have a static version to get to get your hands on a static version that that, uh, that you can use you know in in the future because um, the updates each year are relevant but if you just want to practice or have some basic information in QuickBooks then you can use you can use older versions of QuickBooks and they should work fairly just fine all right so you can have multiple company files with one purchase of QuickBooks versus on the online version typically if you want to have different company files you have to set up another QuickBooks basically account or another QuickBooks file which could cost each time you set up a new company file now this for us is a huge benefit on the desktop side because that means that if you're working on the desktop side you can you can have multiple company files and just test things out with a second company file when we're doing student or practice problems we can we can basically use multiple files just like you would in a Microsoft Office or a you know a Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Word where you have basically the software is the software and then you have the files and you can set up multiple different files within that software we can do a similar kind of process with the desktop version really great tool to use that way online version is a little bit different where you set up basically another file for each company file so every time you set up another account you set up the company file and therefore you got to go through the, the process to set up each new uh, company file when we go through practice problems the desktop version uh, will will work really well here but when we do the practice for either one of these we can kind of utilize that 30-day free trial so we can get if into it generally offers that and we'll, we will use it if they have it right and that'll allow us to go through the to through the practice problem with a nice clean company file but if you have the desktop version then you can set up a clean company file and not and not uh, have to have to mess up anything that's in your current company file as you practice things right and then we have these static backup files versus this data stored on the Intuit servers. Now the backup files, there's multiple different purposes why you might want a backup file. The primary purpose for the backup file is so that you don't lose your data. And for that, the online version is actually better for the most part. You would think it would be better because your information is on their server and their, servers has a, their server has a better backup process. So you're less likely to actually lose your data, you would think, with the online version and just just lose like data input like you entered input today and something happened you lost the data uh that less likely to happen because it's mo way more likely like a way 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 more likely for your computer your hard drive to go down where which is where the desktop version is stored <laughs> as opposed to the intuit servers to go down and lose all the data they they back up their data a lot so for for that you would think the online version would be pretty good now the but the static backup files again as uh, students are practicing working on this works really well because we can actually make a static backup file at any point in time so if we're working through for example practice problems we don't just want to save the data we want to be able to have a static backup file that we can then restore so that we can put our company file right into that one place in time so that we can work through practice problems so these static backup files are really really useful for practice because it that allows you to put data into your system uh, very easily and then how in like we say we can have multiple different company files that we can use to basically practice with with regards to these static backup files now as far as just saving the data with the with quickbooks desktop then what you need to do is actually back up the system you can do this automatically it'll make up it'll make basically a backup file to back up the file and to restore it is a pretty simple process quickbooks has a lot of data in it so we but but it's a pretty straightforward process to back up the data and then to uh, restore the data but to actually set up the backup process you have to do it uh, manually you have to you know you have to set it up and then when you when you back up the the information you got to say well where do i want to back it up i don't want to back it up typically on the same computer the same hard drive that we have the original file on because if the hard drive dr crashes then you're going to crash both the backup file and the drive you could put it on an external drive but then you want to see, it'd be nice if you could store the external drive in some place other than like the office or place where you you have the computer because if your, if your office burns down <laughs> then you would lose the backup drive you can store the backup drive online which might be one of the more beneficial areas at this point in time because then if the computer burned down in a fire or something the backup file would basically be online so you can set up a pretty secure backup system with the desktop version uh, but but just kind of straight off the box or just straight you know usage wise 
the data is probably safer, you know, on the on the online version because it's on the Intuit server. But the backup system that you could set up for a desktop version can be pretty good. And again, those static fi backup files are are quite nice. So look and feel is different. Homepage and and the flowchart and the, so you would think that because they're both quick, they're both basically the same kind of thing. They're accounting software and they're doing a lot of the same processes. When you look at the forms that we will be working with, the names of the data input forms will be the same. We'll have to learn some terminology with regards to inputting data. There's accounting terminology and then there's QuickBooks terminology, which is kind of a subset of accounting terminology. But uh, e even though the forms are the same and the processes are the same, the look and feel of the two softwares are quite different. The desktop version has a nice home page, which is really good, especially for beginners to kind of visualize the process. It'll break out the the process of um the the vendors the 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 payables i'm sorry the vendors the customers and the employees so that's a really good place to start we'll actually use that I'll, I'll use that when we look at both of the quickbooks desktop and online version just to see that flow chart but uh once you memorize the flow chart it's not it's not as as useful the online version has a nice nice clean look and feel to it as, as well but again it's just the layout is going to be substantially different so if you're if you're working in the desktop version you can you can visualize the flow being the same the forms you're going to use are the same and whatnot but where you find those forms is going to be is going to be organized much different with uh the online version so um that's one big difference so then and and which is better you know it just depends on your on your taste I've worked with the desktop version. Many accountants have worked with a desktop version a lot longer, so they probably have a preference uh, for that. Uh, the online version is constantly changing their look and feel. Notice the desktop version, they can't really change the layout more than once a, once a year. They can't move things around in the page as easily, right? And the online version, they'll just they'll be testing it all the time, so, which could be good or could be bad because they might find uh, the better configurations or good configurations that way, but uh, they're also... Uh, if you use it from one day to the next, it could have a button that's totally in a different spot <laughs> just in the next day, right? So pros and cons on those two. So then we can download uh, download of bank transactions can take an extra step. So when you're looking at bank feeds, when you work with bank feeds, meaning you're going to get the data going straight from the bank into your system. Once you get it set up, the, the online version is a little more streamlined typically than uh, the desktop version, meaning the bank feeds will update automatically. The connection process might be a little bit easier to set up with the online version. Now the desktop version is getting better. They're, they're actually mirroring the desktop version to the online version. And, and I think this is one of the major big, big things where they might have thought, you know, people might move from the, on, from the desktop to online because the, you know, the bank feeds being online being banking online and the quickbooks online might be a little bit more seamless of a process but i i think now a lot of people really like the desktop and some of the desktop things so i think they're trying to, i think they've done some substantial changes on the desktop and in 2021 the desktop bank feeds look a lot more like the online bank feeds so we'll get a lot more into the to the desktop bank feeds and see see how much you know closer they are they they always had the bank they've had the bank feeds for some time now and they work pretty, you know, they work pretty good. The, the bank feeds are doing what they need to do. You connect to the bank, but you typically need to actually go to the bank and and say download the banking transactions to have it to have it happen. It's basically another step that takes place. And the look and feel of it wasn't as clean as it was in the online version. They've changed it now in 2021, and we'll we'll practice those in the future and and see how, see how and compare and contrast them at that point in time. But they're improving the bank feeds for the desktop for sure that's where they're putting a substantial amount of time at least they did in 2021 uh, more more difficult to work from different locations for the desktop and it's easier to work at different locations online so that's clearly one of the benefits on the online system M meaning if it's if it's something on the cloud and not actually stored or housed on your desktop then you can log into your quickbooks system from multiple different devices because you're going straight you're basically linking straight to the cloud, to the Intuit server, uh, you can use kind of cloud capabilities, more you know, online or internet capabilities with the desktop version. But it's a little bit more difficult to do because obviously the desktop version is housed in a in a central location. So it takes another step to try to uh, get, get people to house it in, in in different locations. Now, if if you do use different devices and whatnot and go onto the cloud computing, you do have to worry about security 
as well. So and when you're logging on from different devices and the, and the you know using different Wi-Fi and whatnot, so you have to consider consider the security of of logging into an online or, or, or a system versus a desktop system. In other words, if there's a security problem, it might be a little bit diff more difficult for someone to actually, you know, get into the data basically on someone's computer than if they were to get the, the passwords and whatnot to get into the data in an online uh, type of system. So, but, so that's something to consider. But if you're going to work from multiple devices, you want to make sure that you're going to be secure on that and it would be easier to do so with uh, the online version because you just whatever device you're on you can log in uh, from that location using the internet.